Hi, I'm Dustin Abbott. When I did my review of the new Viltrox Pro AF 27mm f1.2 for Fuji X mount, because of time constraints, I didn't have an opportunity to shoot portraits with it. So that really wasn't a part of my review and it's something that I've wanted to rectify ever since. And so today, I'm here to give you both uh, a look at how this lens performs for portraits as well as a little bit of a look behind the scenes of an actual portrait session. Craig and I planned a co cooperative project where he would shoot behind the scenes footage of the portrait session while I shot the actual session with a couple of lovely models. You can check out his video for a behind the scenes look at the photo shoot along with an on the fly interview with me about portrait work. We shot in the late evening on an unseasonably warm September day and I shot exclusively with the Viltrox 27mm f1.2 on a 40 megapixel Fuji X-H2 body. I don't currently have any strobe triggers for Fujifilm, so I shot using available light augmented by the use of reflectors. We chose a setting with a lovely old barn with rich warm textures. I brought along a vintage Pentax ME film camera to use as a prop for the models to use. We had a lot of laughs and we got a lot of beautiful photos. So how did the Piltrox perform? It proved to be a very effective short portrait lens, delivering the ability to defocus the background, but while still leaving it visible. This, combined with excellent sharpness at f1.2, allowed me to shoot wide open for many shots and to only have to stop down the aperture when I wanted more depth of field. I like the ability to create a shallow depth of field in the foreground to allow the subject to stand out, either in shots where I had the model tied against the wall of the barn, or in some shots where I used the perspective of one model taking a picture of the other. You can see that there is plenty of sharpness and contrast on the face of the subject, and if you look at the photo globally, there is a nice three-dimensional pop on the subject. I had mixed results when I introduced backlighting. In some cases, if I allowed the sun to just peek over the barn, I got a nice effect with a sunburst. But if I got up higher into the most intense and most direct sun, the image could become overwhelmingly washed out with light, as you can see here. Color was generally good and easy to edit, with accurate skin tones on both of my models, despite their very different skin colors. I liked both my color shots along with some monochrome options utilizing a number of Fuji's excellent film simulations. Now focus accuracy was mostly very good. I had about a 90% success rate with well focused results and eye tracking was engaged in most images. Autofocus accuracy still isn't as high as what I see on Sony or Canon bodies, but this is about as good as what I see on Fuji. I had a few images where the textures of the barn board caught focus instead of the eye of the models, though to be fair, some of those knots do look like eyes. I personally prefer the Viltrox to either the Fuji or Sigma 23mm f1.4 lenses, as I prefer the bokeh quality and the rendering of the Viltrox. You can see from these flower shots I took at the site that the bokeh is really lovely. The 27mm is a very nice complement to the 75mm for a wider perspective, as the 75mm can really crush a background, as you can see from these photos here. In short, the Viltrox makes for a really great option for covering kind of the slightly wider normal angle of view. I found it a great focal length to work with, and it should prove good in a tighter space where a longer focal length just isn't going to work. Let's take a moment to enjoy some of the photos from the session and to give you an idea of what this baby can produce.
So in conclusion, I do think that Viltrox is a great option for portrait work if you're looking for something in and around this particular focal length. It's one I personally enjoy, though of course a lot of people are either going to prefer the classic 35mm represented by 23mm on Fuji or the 50mm represented by 33mm look that comes with some of the other more traditional options. If you order the 27mm f1.2 from Viltrox, you can use the code Dustin Abbott and get 8% off, which brings the price down to about 500 bucks. That makes this lens one of the better values on the Fuji platform when you consider the quality of the optics. I wouldn't be surprised if this lens becomes the one that I reach for the most when I'm in the mood to shoot Fuji. You can find the links to my reviews of the 27mm f1.2 in the description down below along with some buying links. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and let the light in.